Hey there everybody. Um, people wanted to know, I'm sure, how to do AI, AI modding. And uh, we're gonna get this uh, tutorial going now. So as usual, you'll wanna go to the room where you want to do the AI modding with all the fighters included. So, let's stop him from attacking for video purposes. Okay, so, as usual, you use Emuhase to make a file dump. Let's call this AI modding. As, and as usual, the name doesn't matter. Open PS to this. And we're going to open file we just made alright now we want to press G and go to the address 01A00 yeah now hold down shift and press 3 and let's go to Xemnas's universal character modifier which is 9C9 for the limit cup version scroll down two lines from where you appear copy the data of this then we paste that in and go to that address so you'll see a bar boss execute Tim boss execute boss execute again you want to go to the third boss execute make sure your pointer is right there when uh, when you do an AI mod. So you copy the data again. And go to that address. Now you're at the very bottom of Zemnus Zemnus One's AI for the limit cut, and you'll see a list of all the all of his functions at the top where you found boss execute so there is a lot to take in ab about AI modding and I don't understand all of it either but I will show you all how to do AI modding and you can go from there so the abbreviation ATK, ATK stands for attack and those are what executes some of Zemnis' moves. Other things that execute AI attacks are moves. Like move combo right here. This is Zemnis' huge like 20 hit combo attack. And then you have warps. So some AI functions from what I can infer use these values right here to return either a true or false value and if it's false then Zimnus will warp but AI modding has this weird effect on some miscellaneous things such as the warps where if you change the value then it'll return true and the AI will start utilizing it a lot and this in turn can be combined with with other attacks or moves so what we want to do is copy all of the 0, 4, 8, and C, C addresses right here so, and we always want to make sure they begin with a 2 so we can also just copy all this, paste it, change the 0 to a 4, paste again, 0 to 8, paste again, and then 0 to C. Now you have all four of these addresses right here for warp target far. So, let's say we want Zemnus to do more attacks or be more unpredictable. Well, we would want to give him either an attack or a move. In Zimnus's case, I've noticed that moves don't seem to do much for his miscellaneous warping, but attacks seem to do something. The one I normally use is attack counter, 
which is all the way down here we go right here so all right but if we notice right here there's some odd spacing on this and then in this well, and then at the last part of it there's an R and then it leads immediately into another function idle short so we can't fit this in we can't perfectly fit this into Xemnas's warp target far when it's when it's like this so here's where here's where a very confusing part comes into play you have to take four values four hex values and put them in as the data backwards what I mean by this is 5f 6b 7 4 6 1 you have to read this from from down to up and that's how you input the code so 5f 6b 7 4 6 1 over here will give you attack underscore and the reason you're doing this is because the game is reading this backwards in Polish notation so then for C4 we do this again our first our, the one we started with last time was 5F so now we have to go down for 1 2 3 4 now we start this now we start the data of this line with 6e, continue with 75, 6f, 63. Now we have attack underscore count. Then we go down for again. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we get 0, 0, 7, 2, 6, 5, 7, 4. Now the now for warp target far, Xemnas' AI will read this as attack counter every time it goes to call the warp target far function. AI modding is basically replacing one function with another and hoping it has an effect because I've noticed on a lot of things you can't actually configure them completely in this, in this area. But uh, it's, it's all a lot of trial and error. You have to experiment with this yourself, just like animation modding. So, now we have the spare fourth line, and, we, and if we leave this unmodded, then the last parts of warp target far will be in, and then it'll be reading it as attack counter far. And we don't want that because that's not an actual function that Xemnas, is, that Xemnas has. So all we do is just just make it a dummy value just just make it zeros and it won't return any it won't return anything it'll think and the AI will think it's just spacing for other functions and this is good because this allows you to have space so it still moves on to the next function without getting confused so if we apply that Zemna starts warping randomly All right, so we've done that. Now let's re-enable his. We'll go ahead and re-enable his animations real fast. And now what we're going to do is we're going to modify his attacks. And what I mean by this is we're going to make him attack in different intervals or in different ways. So we see so you can see there he's kind of hesitating with the warps. Okay. Um so 
it's possible to get him to execute his attacks by replacing different things, such as his idols. So... Okay, wrong, wrong thing. Alright, so... One of his idols is in the middle of using, I believe, his two-hit slash into guard. And then he has an idol before he acts again. But what we can do for this is we can change the idol to an attack. So he transitions into that immediately. This is a good opportunity to make an AI use an attack more often than it wouldn't normally do. Or it would normally do, but it just doesn't do often. So, let me pull up my notes real fast. Okay. Alright, so idle middle then. So, again we copy the addresses. Space that out. Then, there's a second line. And then there's the third line. Okay, so... Now, as I was saying before, Simnus's like, 20 hit slash is... is under the name Move Combo. So we go to... to that. And now we copy the data of that. And the good news about this function, data, is that we don't have to reconstruct it, which is what we did for this. Also, the good new one good thing about AI modding is that all of this data remains the exact same because it's reading it as letters, and letters in hex are are always the same. So, there you go. Anyways, that's why, oh, and that's why you can write this down in a text file, so in case you want to hack the, uh, the boss for more than one room, or in my case, more than one video, you will have, you will have that info to go off of, so you don't have to scroll around the, uh, scroll around the AI listing as much. It's, uh, very efficient. So, we've replaced idle middle with the move combo. So, suppose so according to my notes, he's supposed to guard and use his two hit slash and we'll be able to notice when he does when he awkwardly stands still. This might take a while though. That ain't it. There was the awkward pause right there. I guess he didn't do the two hit slash because of the because of the warp. But if you notice right there, that was our that was our other animation mod or AI mod. Sorry. We'll go ahead and. Um, reload the the room with just the uh, idle replaced to make it less confusing.
there it is. So, the beauty of AI modding is that you can also combo with animation mods. Right there, he awkwardly paused and did nothing. But if you put something over Xemnas' neutral stand animation, then you'll make it seem like he's acting normal. You also, when you're making these mods, you also want to try and make it look like a kingdom, an actual Kingdom Hearts boss. At least that's what, that's my perspective after the, after the years I've been doing this. Or, I guess in terms of animation mods, it'll be a month. Actually, I guess it has been about a year. Um, let's see. So anyways, um, aside from that, that's the basic sort of AI modding. There's a lot of trial and error to go through. The only thing I really um, know for certain is that those battle... Let's see, where is it? Yeah, these battle things are actually um, default... Uh, the default things that the AI goes through with the patterns. And if you replace these with a single move, they might they might start spamming it, but I won't get into that with Xemnas. Actually, I'm just not going to get into that. Um, I think you all understand the basics. Um, one thing, t another thing to note is that some of these attacks you can cancel out by just making everything zeros, but some of them you also can't cancel out at the same time. Which is strange. Um, these numbers that you see actually being indicated right here. Um, zero, 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 or one, zero, or two, zero, or anything like that. Those are actually camera angles. Which I'm pretty sure it's just always for reaction commands. So if you ever get... A case where your camera is messing up in a hacked fight, you can also just set these to zero, like act like the value to zeros, and you'll cancel out the camera. So that might be helpful. It was helpful for me in my last hack fight. Um, that's basically all there is to it. If you have any questions, then feel free to comment. Hope you all uh, have fun with this. Bye.